Okay. <clears throat> so you've got the gift of hope um, as the first card. So you are making plans for the future and you're very, very hopeful that things are going to work out. And this is a very, very good place to be. So a lot of energies coming in that are going to make you feel uh, much happier. So, you know, you are getting rid of any kind of depression that you're going through and you are making um, plans for the future. So it looks like, you know, you'll be socializing quite a bit. You've got the social rituals card over here. So going out, having a good time, relaxing, um, you know, getting together with friends. And there are people that are supporting you. There looks like there is some kind of offer as well that might well be coming in for you. You're at a crossroads as well, it seems, and you're trying to make some kind of decision. You're looking at the past uh, for some kind of inspiration for the future, and you're also making plans for the future as well. So whatever you're doing right now, uh, you know, you're sitting and um, you're really trying to get out of the situation, and you're very, very hopeful that things are going to improve. So in the past, you've got the justice card, so you might have dealt with some kind of legal situation. There might have been a divorce or separation that you went through, and uh, it looks like some decision was made. And you made a lot of sacrifices, so maybe you lost out a lot. Maybe that decision that came out from whatever that legal situation was, was not really in your favor. You felt like you gave up a lot. Uh, maybe you gave up a lot for the relationship as well, and that has, um, you know, uh, made you feel a bit un unhappy uh, that you put in so much and didn't get many returns from it. But going into the future, you've got the Dawn card over here. So this is about things working out. You've got this um, new moon coming in over here. So something happening uh, and a new beginning. This is almost like an ace. Uh, it's, it's something brand new coming in for you on that emotional front. And this is going to allow you to focus your attentions on something. So this is uh, setting an intention and focusing on, on it uh, and making sure that, you know, you get what you want. So you, you've you learned a lot from your previous relationships and you know what you want. And this is what you're going to be going for. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to use the symbol on deck for this reading. This is not a tarot deck. Uh, but it gives a good tarot reading. <laughs> okay, so let's see. So here you have got the meditation card, which is about spending a lot of time by yourself and, uh, you know, getting to grips with things. Maybe you're doing a lot of praying, maybe you're doing a lot of focusing, uh, but this is definitely doing a lot of inner work and, um, you know, uh, getting some answers as well, getting some inspiration, getting some insights about what, uh, what is going on. You might be having a lot of dreams, a lot of visions maybe messages coming to you from people around you as well. Uh, but it's allowing you to do a lot of inner searching and inner growth as well. So this is where you are. And it's also a card of a, a lot of peace. You're coming to terms with things and you're getting to a, a peaceful side of your life as well. So what's happening with you? You can see here, this is the card of Taurus. And this is about self-reflection. Looking at, she's looking at herself in the mirror over there. And really seeing the beauty within herself. So this meditation is allowing you to reach certain heights uh, or certain uh, come to certain conclusions that you know you're all you're quite good. You're you're quite um, you know wonderful. Really, this is what you're coming to uh, the conclusion. And also you know you're having you're you're being able to focus on your own needs really um, and bringing in abundance. So maybe you're focusing on your career at this particular moment or trying to self improve, make things go um, you know in a way that. Um, where you're coming across as being somebody who has got it together. So, uh, you know, you are spending a lot more time on your own needs right now and uh, trying to get yourself um, up to standard, up to par. Now, you might be dealing with somebody that's around you that's, um, you know, pulling on your energies as well because this is the card of the psychic vampire, so somebody uh, trying to drain energy from you. So be aware of that, that there could be somebody around you that is not, um, you know, really... Uh, good for you. They're taking or draining energy from you. Um, and, you know, maybe they're uh, sapping on your self-confidence as well. Uh, you need to overcome that because this person, uh, you know, looks like they could be, uh, you know, this is a very dark card compared to this card here, which is showing that this person, you know, is, uh, th their intentions are not really very, very honorable. And they're somebody that can take energy from you. So it's very important for you, uh, you know, to maintain that, uh, that energy. Keep your self-confidence. Don't allow them to get under your skin, if you like. 
So um, in the past, this is about, you know, remembering the past. This is the card about memories, and this is about thinking about all the things that happened to you and trying to move out of the darkness and into the light. So, you know, you have been uh, trying to get yourself back to standard, trying to get your um, emotions back, trying to balance yourself again. This is almost like the temperance card, getting out of that dark, getting that balance and bringing in abundance. And you've been working on yourself. Uh, you can see this is Jupiter in Sagittarius. And this is about spiritual growth as well. And this is focusing on yourself. You've got the moon in Cancer over here. So all your emotions, you're getting them back in order again. So in the far past few months, uh, you might be involved in a relationship right now. And this could be uh, where you're focusing a lot on the family, on your family or nurturing or maybe, uh, maybe your intention is. Um, you know, to um, get a family, really, or start a family. But whatever it is, this is about trying to get balance within that relationship, trying to get balance within the family life as well. And it seems to be, you know, quite settled. Um, you know, you seem to be, um, you know, you seem to have all your ducks in a row here. You're getting things sorted out. Maybe the person that you are, you know, involved in might be draining a little, you know, draining your energy as well. So you must protect yourself against that. Now, in your mind, maybe you want to pursue something in, in um, you know, pursue further learning. So maybe you're trying to focus on your career. You Maybe you're doing courses and study where you're, uh, you know, learning a lot. You might be also taking on that role of, of being a mentor, helping people out. Um, so this is what is on your mind. Maybe this is what you want to do. Now, you've got this uh, card of the um, sun in um uh, Leo over here. So this is about focusing on yourself and your power and, um, you know, displaying your authority. So uh, this is a card about, um, you know, being in charge, being in, in a position of, um, of of control of that situation. So you have got, um, this is your card because this is about the sun being in Leo and this is about being, you know, Sagittarius is fire sign. This is about having your personal control. So you have, um, you know, all this meditation that you're doing is giving you back your confidence again it's putting you on top and people see you as somebody who is very abundant. So maybe you are trying to focus on that family over here or trying to maybe start a family. Uh, and you're also, uh, you know, with this card, um, it's, it's um, Venus in Taurus. It's like the Empress card. This is about manifesting abundance and, uh, you know, showing people that you have that authority and you're able to take control of that situation. So you're, you're very much on top of things at the moment. Um, this is um, a card about spending time with nature and nurturing and maybe taking a holiday, maybe taking a vacation, um, you know, uh, being very abundant um, and, and caring for a lot of people, you know, uh, seeing the bigger picture maybe spending a lot more time, um, you know, uh, focusing on bigger issues in life, uh, universal, global issues. Uh, and that seems to be where you are at right now. Now, you know, um, this card is about, you know, try not to do too many things uh, at one time because you could end up uh, being very, very stressed out and this could affect your health as well. So, uh, you know, uh, take it easy, really. And maybe you need a little bit of a vacation. This is like the Four of Swords within the tarot deck. This is needing to take some time off, uh, take, uh, uh, you know, um, a little bit of a holiday, a little bit of a break, and just recover and recuperate as well. You are certainly trying to get your spirituality uh, sorted out. You've got this card about Jupiter and Sagittarius, and this is about expanding yourself, uh, you know, uh, and spending a lot more time, devoting a lot more time to your spirituality. Maybe you're praying a lot. Maybe you're getting involved um, a lot more in, um, you know, metaphysical things, uh, esoteric things, uh, you know, where you're... Um, you know, looking at your belief system all over again, especially with this meditation card, it seems like, you know, you might be doing a lot of meditation at this particular moment, or you might be going down that avenue, changing your belief system in itself. So going into the future, the final outcome uh, would be, you know, try and have realistic expectations. This is the card of, um, this is like Don Quixote, where he used to chase rainbow, uh, you know, chase windmills rather, uh, you know, where he had ideas that things were supposed to be one way and had expectations and they were not very based in reality. So whatever vision you have or whatever ideas you have, try to not make it, make it practical. Uh, you know, set goals and intentions that you can achieve rather than going after uh, dreams. So uh, I think it looks like things, this is not a negative card. There's a rainbow there. Things are going to be working out, but don't have too many expectations. Uh, you know, if, if you want to, um, which are going to be unrealistic. So, you know, everybody has, um, 
you know, everybody has downfalls. People all have faults. So don't expect that person that you're with to have to be larger than life. Uh, be very practically in what you are pursuing. Now, it seems like, you know, you're in two minds about something. There's some kind of decision that you need to make about moving forward. So you are thinking about it quite deeply and you are really weighing uh, the pros and cons about the situation. You might be, you know, if you're not in a relationship, you might want to start something new. Or if you're in a relationship, you may want it to go down a different path. And this is what you're really contemplating at this particular moment. And this card is also... You know, try to be realistic because this man's got his head in the clouds and he doesn't see the danger where he can fall down this, um, you know, this broken bridge. So the idea is, you know, to make sure that whatever intention you're set is realistic, that, you know, you don't expect too much out of everybody else or don't expect too much out of yourself. Um, you know, don't uh, be too hard on yourself. Give yourself a break. Relax and let things come to you naturally. And also watch your step. So whatever you're doing, make sure that you are based in reality and you are, uh, you know, watching what you're doing, watching what you're saying. Everything has consequences and you need to be aware of things around you. So be aware of the people around you. Uh, you know, don't just set intentions or have visions and dreams and then not really see where the pitfalls are coming. So this is just really what this deck is saying. You know, you have your, you have everything, um, you know, uh, you seem to be in control of that situation and things are, abundance is coming to you. There seems to be a card of abundance and, you know, you might be involved with somebody who is very, very, um, they look after you. You might be dependent on them. Maybe this could be a card where you're dependent on them, but financially, and they're there to support you. They're there to give you whatever you need and everything seems to be going um you know, quite well at the moment, but don't stress yourself out so, uh, or make uh, problems where there shouldn't be any, because that will just lead to more, uh, you know, difficulties, really. Uh, you need to take it easy, take a break, take a holiday, uh, get back to nature as well with this particular um, spread. So um, it looks like, you know, you are getting to grips with things and you are, um, you know, you are having whatever that relationship is, seems to be quite settled, quite steady at the moment. Um, so let's just draw some cards from the symbol on deck. So the first card is the two of Gabriel over here, which says, make um, bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. So it seems like, you know, this is the two of rods. Whoever you are with at the moment, you're both sharing the same vision. Uh, you know, you seem to have a good relationship with them. And it seems to be very, very divinely guided. Um, you know, you all have gone through problems. And it seems like, you know, everything is settling down at the moment. So you've got the seven of Michael over here. There's a better choice of action available for you. Uh, working alone may not be the best answer. Review all details. So it looks like you are being faced with some kind of decision. And here as well, there is some kind of decision that is coming up for you. Uh, you're weighing your options about what to do in this relationship. So some kind of choice being made. Even both these cards have got the dark and the light over here. So one pathway is dark and one is light. Here you've got the dark angel and the light angel over here, two halves. So you are weighing the options. You're trying to make a decision. Uh, make a decision always to walk in the light. Um, and that's going to bring in, you know, positive results. You've got the growing of the lilies. Whatever this decision is that you are making is going to have some kind of long-term consequence to it. So make sure that you're thinking about it very carefully before you make any kind of choice. And the last card is the King of Michael, which says, wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. So it looks like, um, you know, you have to uh, communicate your ideas very, very clearly to, and, you know, take control of that situation um, and make sure that you are always doing things for best intentions. Uh, you know, there shouldn't be any uh, hidden agendas in whatever choice you're making over here. It says uh, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. So, you know, if you're dealing or you're trying to make some kind of big decision over here, uh, it's good to speak to your partner about what is going on. Communicate your ideas very clearly to this person uh, before you make that particular choice. Um, because there's some kind of big decision that's going to have some long-term consequences for you. And make sure that it's based in reality, that you're seeing everything that is going on around you. If there's any pitfalls that are coming up, uh, you need to be aware of that. Uh, you know, don't just jump into things uh, without thinking about it very, very clearly. 
So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.